In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic calendar here in Google Sheets. So if you want to have all the dates of a specific day in a week for a couple of months in advance, you can do so with this dynamic calendar where it will show you the data that you need as far as you want to see. So for example, I'm a swimming coach and I want to notify my students that I'm only available during Mondays and Fridays for the next couple of months. So this dynamic calendar allows me to see all of these dates in advance, which is pretty convenient. So I can just copy them and send them to my students and notify them that these are the only dates that I'm available. And so if I change this date right here, my start date, let's say I go to the next month of September. If I select September 29 as my starting date, here we have all again the specific dates for those specific days of the week. Now, when you select your date, it's always important that you align it to your starting day of the week. For example, if you have a Saturday right here, then you can select a Saturday from your calendar right here. Let's go ahead and recreate this. Let's go to our practice sheet. And we already have our headers. We have our start date. For this example, I'm starting with a Sunday, but it's totally up to you when you want to start. You can start on a Monday a Saturday or a Sunday as well. That's totally up to you. So to create this calendar, what I've used is the sequence function. Now I've already created a video on how to use the sequence function, and I'm going to leave a card at the top right corner for you to check out. So let's start our function or our formula. Go ahead and put in the equal sign, type in sequence as EQ, select it right here. Then you can input the number of rows that you want, which is again, totally up to you. In my example right here, I've input at least 17 rows, but again, this is totally up to you, comma. Then your number of columns, since we have seven days of the week, I'm just gonna input seven right here. And for the start date, I'm going to be doing a cell reference of whatever I put here will be my starting date. So if I select that and press enter, here we have some numbers starting with the zero because we haven't put anything right here yet. But if we put in a date, let's say we're going to start August 9, 2024 and press enter. So here we have the sequence of numbers that if we format them, they will turn into dates. So let's go ahead and select our range right here. Go to format in the menu bar. Select number, then go to custom date and time. If you select that, you can select the different formats that you want for your date. I'm just going to select this one right here. Click on apply. There you have it. And that's our dynamic calendar. Now we just have to make sure that this date is aligned into the correct day of the week. So if we double click on this, you'll see that August 9 is actually a Friday. So we can just select any of these Sundays right here. You can have it at four and there we have it. Now we have the accurate dates for that specific day of the week and in a couple of months in advance. And there you have it. So if I change this again to let's say next month, I want to know all the Fridays for the next couple of months. We're going to start with September 1. And now we have all the dates for all the Fridays from September to December. And there you have it. That's how to create a dynamic calendar here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.